Controversy is erupting as people become more aware of some local businesses that are posting signs asking people to pull the hoods on their hoodies down before they come in. News Channel 15's Aaron Rogers spent the afternoon talking to business owners and shoppers about their reaction to those signs. Aaron? It's not a new policy from, for some stores, and in fact, it was even hard to get people to talk about it because of the level of controversy. Some say it's an issue of safety, but others say it's stereotyping. This handwritten sign is posted clearly on the door of this local convenience store. It probably wouldn't hurt to take your hoodie off when you walk in some business. The issue is polarizing the community. Some businesses, mostly convenience stores, are making it mandatory to remove hoods and facial covers after a recent string of armed robberies. And financial institutions like Three Rivers Credit Union have had similar policies for years. Having the ability to recognize a member's face when they walk through the door is not only a customer service courtesy, but is most certainly a security practice. While some understand the need for heightened security, they think it's not necessary to post the signs. Come on, we just had the coldest weather in like how many years? I mean, it's cold out here. So if someone want to wear a hoodie, that shouldn't make you a bad guy because of what you got on. Even though it's cold outside, some business owners say walking into a store wearing this is a safety issue, but some say it's crossing a fine line. I think it's stereotyping in a very big way. When you look and you see a lot of things that happen in our community, a lot of the things aren't done by people because they have a hood on. To me, you ain't a bad guy until you come in and pull out your weapon. But not everyone feels that way. I think it's a good thing because you, like nowadays, you never know what's going on, what might happen. It will make me feel comfortable. Some business owners who aren't doing this say it could be hard to enforce and think it could hurt business. A clerk at one local convenience store who didn't want to talk on camera said even with the sign, she has still been held up at gunpoint. In Studio 15, Erin Rogers, News Channel 15.